Yeah, yeah. Party. What I wanted to do. There we go. Just repeating dumb shit, don't worry about it. Okay. Finishing yesterday's rando. Sweet. Ah, it's a full screen. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. The goal today, find the last sword upgrade. Um. Okay, I'm currently right there. I just finished doing all those shits. Private Oasis. Alright. So I'll go to Forest Haven. I'm gonna take a little shortcut or a little side trip. to the private oasis. And then, um, when we're there, I'm gonna do stuff that's there. I'm gonna kill the Octo. How many eyes does it have? Eight eyes? Alright, I can take that down easily. Get my boomerang out. we we'll do the Octo first. And then I'll head back to the Oasis to do all that shit. There's something on my fucking mind. There we go, got it. Where? Where? There, right in front of me. Uh oh, wrong button. Perfect. Is that it? Nope. That's it. No, that's not it. Fucking... Got it.
Alright, ideally we'll get the sword upgrade. I don't know when. Um, I'm just kind of planning for the future. I naturally want all the overworld checks first, and then I'll go into dungeons. So, got the Octo, done. And please. Private Oasis. Okay. Yeah, it's over here. You fuckhead. I may go out of my way just to kill, um... Just to beat Dragon Roost easy. Actually, no, Dragon Roost still has a couple extra checks in it, I forgot. I was like, I can just go beat the Dragon Roost boss and then leave. No, that's not necessarily an option. Can I hit that? There's no way I'm hitting that. This is some big fucking rats. I can hit that. Kill the rat. I'm stunning, I'm not killing him. Okay, it's like right there ish. Uh oh. Fuck it, we'll do it normally.
Yo, what's up, kitty? How you doing? Where are the chests in here? I know there's two of them. One's freestanding and the other one's uh, uh, this. Oh, that's right, Katie. You're going through kind of rough time. I'm sure everything will be fine. to go down here? I think there were. Ooh. Wait a minute, is that Redead Orb spawn up top? Okay. Sure. Please have another way I can go. You fuckhead. Alright then. Where on earth am I going? Aha! Uh, uh -huh. Come. <laughs> yeah. That's understandable with all the, you know, all the food stuff they're bringing. Oh, fuck off. Oh, my God. 
you big fuckhead. Oh. Fuck off. Devin, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go. Oh, go down. See, Kitty gets it. What's the point of this cutscene? Awesome, that was sick. Hey, why am I facing this way? I want to go. Oh. I'm going out of my way to get one check. Just because I'm here and I don't want to come back. I wasn't paying attention. Ow. There we go. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, I'll make that.
Perfect.
Wow. Wow. That was a really good actual fire act though. No. There it is. Got it. Okay, that's 12i tingle. Still missing a statue on the wrong side of the tower. Okay, yeah, let's have him. That's five more. Actually, that's going to be all of them. They're 400 apiece. I did three of them before. Yep, that's all of them. Uh, that's outset. Get the chart. That is. This one, Cliff Plateau, that's uh, Southern Triangle, Seven Star, Two Eye Reef, and everything, that's it. Well, oh, wrong way. Um, all right, I'm gonna go kill this last Octo and then I'm going to get the rest of the sunken triggers and we'll go from there. From there, it's pick a dungeon. I want to go north, pick a dumb fuck to. Kick their nuts in.
Let's go, dude. Come on. This is a bad rock to run. Two big fuck yous. I think I still got it. Okay, that's it. Last two eyes. Got it. Alright, last Octo is dead. What's this? Oh, Dragon Rose Cavern. Yeah. Just looking at the tracker. Octo done. I'm missing three treasure charts. Fucking dare. Oh, my ass. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Oh my god. That is a lot of notifications. Why did my camera turn? Hello? There you are. Okay, two eye reef done.
I hit the southern fairy. I grabbed uh, one fairy for a bottle. Um, uh, then I go get the one at southern triangle. And then I go to the one... Um, Whoever the fuck the island's called. I think it's the one next to Forest Haven. <laughs> I like that. And then I go back, I visit Grandma, give her the soup, um, walk outside, hopefully get the mail. Um, And then I go to Dragon Roost. When I get the Dragon Roost, I go do the uh, Tingle Chest and the extra one I miss, and then I go fight the boss. And I kill him. And then I... Probably go for Tower of the Gods after that. It might be smarter to go for Wind Temple or um, Earth Temple, but I despise both of those engines. You flying fuckhead. Thank God. It wasn't even that fucking deep. I didn't get the first two times. So. I have not played Metopia Devon. I watched Mask play it a little bit uh, when on 3DS version uh, on stream. So that's pretty much it. I intend to play it, maybe. Another one of those things that's just like on the backlog, like, eh. I know a lot of people love it, and it's just like kind of like a cult classic. About more of a Tomodachi life person. Do you lose all your money when you finish a chapter? Oh, I have no idea. It might. I'm not an expert on the game. Want me to look it up for you? Or I mask just good if you wanted to. It seems kind of dumb for a game to just like take all your money away. It's not like Paper Mario or like any actual RPG does that. No, I talked to the boat. Oh. Well, good luck with that, bud. Is that you? Mailbox coon? Ooh. Yo, what up? Cool. Okay. 
Uh, time to dupe some soup. <laughs> can I drink soup while I'm in the house? I can. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna dupe some while I'm here. No, what the fuck? What the hell? Stop drinking the goddamn soup! I gotta stop using the Z button for this. That one was on purpose. Soup has been duplicated. All right. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. <laughs> no mail. You suck. All right, fine, I'll go do the dungeon. All right. Why does it say I can't do the rest of Power of the Gods? I can. Primo, dude. All right. Where am I going? I'm not down there. I want to go. Hello. Ah. Stop it. Can you go the fuck away? Where? That's where. Actually, I would want. Literally, want to go right down. My dogs are going nuts. I don't know what at. You fuck. 
flying fuckhead. All right. <laughs> yeah, they are flying flock of fuckheads. Hello? Mr. Jazz Dancer here. Good. When did I come up with that, Devin? I forgot. I was on the trip to New York. I think I was on the trip to New York. Fuck you. Yeah, but like a bunch of birds went by and I'm like flying flock of fuckheads. That was honestly a crowning moment of mine. I'm not usually good at alliteration too, which is, <laughs> has made it all better. Mostly why I said it. I was like, I'm bad at alliteration, but this is... Primo. I fucking knew that was going to happen. Devin, where should I go after this? Tower of the Gods, Earth Temple, or Wind Temple? Fuck off. Earth Temple? Okay. God damn. I hope that's the right play and it gets me the sword upgrade. Because honestly, I have no idea after this. Unless this is the sword upgrade. I'm not a big fan of the King Po, where the fuck his name is. What's his name? Jawhalla, yeah. Never, was never a fan. Mulgara is sick. Jawhalla is alright. That being said, both dungeons are kind of eh. Wind Temple's worse. Eh. Bottle's a bottle. I'm not going to Wind Temple. <laughs> oh, I should have made that an option. Wind Temple is fucking trash. It just takes a year and a half to get through. It's like fucking Shadow Temple mixed with, uh... Shadow Temple from Ocarina mixed with, uh... 
Water Temple from Ocarina. So it's... People say a Water Temple is fucking confusing. I don't disagree with that. But, um... Um... Uh, I'm going Tower to Gods, which is Dragon Roost. Uh, people say that Water Temple is confusing. Fine, whatever. Fucking floats their boat. Um... So that confusion mixed with just being, like, kind of annoying to maneuver around. Not what I wanted to do. Um, right away, I am going to want my leaf. Um, my bow, naturally. And the Windmaker. Shall I put the Windmaker on the Y, where I always have it? My mail here yet? You suck. Grandma, what the fuck's taking so long with your goddamn mail? Master Quest Water Temple um, was kind of shitty in OOT. I still think it was okay. I have no problems with any. Uh, I think actually Fire Temple Master Quest is probably the worst temple of, in all of Zelda. Alright, Devin, new question. What's the worst temple in all of Zelda? Oh, fuck. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Probably one from Skyward Sword, but Skyward Sword is also Skyward Sword. Fuck! Yeah, I never agreed with um, Water Temple being difficult. I always thought Water Temple was pretty easy. Maybe when I was a kid, that actually was where I stopped at uh, Water Temple. 
But when I started doing randos, I started really appreciating Modern Temple for being, like, kind of not straightforward, but, like, simple. This dungeon's kind of tedious, but it's fun. I completely understand that, Kevin. I, I'll, Randomizer also does fix that issue by just putting the boots on, D, on your D-pad. Base Ocarina Water Temple is kind of toxic. But Randomizer Water Temple, pretty sick. Okay. Uh, I'm actually like way farther than I thought it was. Thank you. Yeah, I could see where I was going. I'm just gonna take him out with a fucking bow. Fuck oh, head. Jabu Jabu is kind of meh. Yeah, I can agree, definitely agree with that. Or understand where you're going, where, where you're coming from. I... Uh oh. I really like Jabu. Carrying Rudo around is not fun. Why'd I do that? When you understand um, that Rudo has like a hitbox, um, and you can throw her at shit, like at the fucking um, I like the switches on the ceiling and hit those with her. Like I just think that's fun, and there's like clever ways that you can use Rudo to your advantage. I don't find carrying stuff in Zelda games to be that cumbersome anymore. Oh, you're a dark nut. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, so, um... In this game, there's like the hero's mask that you get for giving the teacher a bunch of fucking joy pendants. And this, in Rin Randomizer, it's randomized, obviously. So, uh, when you put on the mask, it's another visual effect on your character. So they took that to the advantage and made the dumb fucking thing above my head. So if I took it off, uh, the mask off, then that text box would disappear. It's just funny. There we go, that's the magic I wanted. Fuck off. Oh, now I remember the thing I missed. Okay, the Armos Knights. I need 
of bombs. There's a fucking whiz robe in here. If we, this would have to be like a full on, uh, like full length discussion of like what makes a good Zelda dungeon if we were to decide what our favorite, like what we think is the fuck best Zelda dungeon. Oh. Hi. There we go. I'm facing the right way, I am facing the right way. Let's go. I don't know what my personal favorite dungeon is. Ooh, a small key. There's honestly just, there's a lot to fucking sift through when you that, that's a really loaded question. We could like if we wanted to do like some like podcasty discussion streams like we could arrange this. I don't think I need to replay them. I feel like I have a good grasp on like all every every dungeon that I know of I've seen or played. I'm pretty certain that my favorite dungeon would be like from like Link Between Worlds or something along those lines. Where am I? Oh, I gotta play the Wind Wind first. The wrong button. Uh, wrong spot. I wouldn't even count quantify Breath of the Wild's dungeons as dungeons. <laughs> yeah. Like, maybe the Divine Beasts, but, like, that's it. They are technically dungeons. Like what? What quantifies a dungeon in Zelda? Is it um like just a large sequence of rooms with puzzles inside them, or is it like um fucking the like? Because Breath of the Wild's dungeons are like just giant like rooms that have uh no you know like like actual Zelda dungeons have like small keys and small puzzles that you have to solve like. But the wild doesn't really have those. Um, fuck, what am I supposed to do? I, forgot, I missed the switch, I think. Oh. Mandatory dungeons, that's probably really good. That's a good way to put it. Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. That actually is a, like... That's actually, like, easily the best way to put it, actually. Kevin, you are a genius. So we're, we will quantify dungeons as mandatory... 
are, uh, yeah, mandatory, uh, just, they're mandatory. Oh, hey. What quantifies the Zelda dungeon is that it's mandatory for you to play through it. If there are such bonus dungeons and shit like that, like, fine. Like, bonus dungeons are not mandatory, but if they're, like, fully fleshed out dungeons, um, I don't know, like, the one in Link to the Past on GBA or whatever the fuck, like, then fine. That's, like, the only, like, bonus dungeon, like, there really even is. Anything else that's bonus is, like, just murder everything. Ice Cavern doesn't count. I agree with you, Kevin. Ice Cavern doesn't count. Um, because there would be there's like smaller obviously places where you where you get like the earth like or the fucking like the iron boots and the um, power bracelets in this game. Um, you know, Fire Mountain and Ice Cavern, or the fucking they're called here. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Like, they're just not... Like, they're just... They're too small, too short. Um, I guess in Ocarina, like, they're all the dungeons are kind of... If you know how to play them, all, they're all kind of short. Um, bottom of the well. Um, bottom of the well doesn't count. Um... It's a required dungeon, but it's too short to justify, I think. Bottom well is neat. Um, what else am I trying to think? I'm trying to think of, like, specific dungeons. Like, from, or, like the bonus stuff from Ocarina of Time, but I haven't played Ocarina in a while. Like, would Forsaken Fortress count as the dungeon in, in this game? Probably. Um, but it's not even, like, really a big dungeon. I don't even know if I would count Forsaken Fortress. The GTGs are not a dungeon. Like, maybe you could quantify the GTGs. For the training grounds for those who are not first in Ocarina, uh, abbreviations. Um... Uh, the G the Griddle Training Grounds, like, there are a series of puzzles, um, you get uh, the ice arrows from them, yeah, um, there's a bunch of rupees in them, uh, it's just like a bunch of smaller little mini puzzles that are cute, they're fun, there's a lot of chests in there, so it's like a little gold mine if you, like, you know, go there at the right, with, like, very specific conditions. They're neat, um, but they're not required. Like, there's no reason for you to even go there. The ice arrows are fucking random. Or, like, they're just, they're useless, period. Like, I don't think the GTGs count as a dungeon. If we're being conservative about it. We could say that Bond with Well is a dungeon, that the GTGs are dungeons, and that Ice Cavern is technically a dungeon. We could say that. If we were being, you know, pretty open, like, liberal about it, it's like, who fucking cares, you know? There are a series of, like, rooms that you go through. Each of them has a challenge, like, a little puzzle in it that you gotta do. Like, they are technically dungeons. But if we're trying to keep it smaller and more, like, precise, then, um... It's not a dungeon. Iconic Castle. Pretty sick fucking place. I don't remember that well. I haven't done it in a long time. But I'm pretty sure, in my... It, with this logic we're going by, it's not a dungeon. Can I break that? Oh, I gotta lock onto it. Fuck off. I don't care. I would like to run through Majora's Mask again. Uh, that's the... 
Alright, I got everything. I just gotta go fight the boss. I'll tell you who do this. Ah! You're one that targets me. Stone Tower is pretty fucking dope. Stone Tower is fucking, like... What the fuck just hit me? Oh, you hit me. Yeah, it's just like the main dungeons, Kevin, I agree. Uh, I'll grab one fairy. Well, the side dungeon. Like, there are a lot of required side dungeons. That's the thing. Like that's kind of like the no like the issue is that like there's a million like little small side puzzle like side dungeons that are that you need to get required items. This this song's sick. That's the issue. It's like where do you draw the line? bombs. I honestly, like, almost want to give my favorite dungeon to Stone Tower. The hookshot was, yeah. The Pirate's Fortress, which was required for the hookshot. Um, the hookshot's only required from the third temple onwards. So it's required for Great Bay, and it's required for Stone Tower, and that's all. And obviously, like, some extra stuff here and there. Pirate's Fortress does not count. By our logic. Great Bay! Kind of sick, kind of toxic. I would put it more in the sick column. Yeah. I'm glad we can kind of, like, agree with that, Devin. I kind of re almost really want to give to Stone Tower. Just because the music's sick, the atmosphere is sick. It's, like, thematically, like, just really cool. Like, it's just all around an awesome fucking dungeon. But it's got Water Temple Syndrome, switching between, back and forth between masks. And it's kind of annoying to maneuver around some stuff. Um, there's, like, the, a couple water segments. And then also, um... Just when you flip it upside down, it's kind of annoying. But it's like, it's hauntingly beautiful how awesome that dungeon is. Um, yeah, Earth Temple. Tower of the Gods is pretty cool. Um, it's got it's. I talked about actually literally talked about this with BBNG last night when he was here. Um, like it's very themed. It's a, it's very pretty. Um, a lot of awesome puzzles, especially with like where you first get the command melody. So it's like you're figuring out that shit, and it's like oh wow, this is actually really 
awesome how... I think they nailed the Command Melody puzzles. Uh, like the multiplayer Command Melody stuff in Tower of the Gods. And then they kind of fucked it up. Um, it's okay here in Earth Temple with Medley. Um, I think it's fucking disgusting uh, in Wind Temple with Makar. Uh, oh yeah, I can go this way. Yeah, Wind Temple's fucking disgusting. Um... I like Tower of the Gods, but I ha it has the same issue that I, um, that I fault, um, Great Bay for. It's just annoying to deal with. There's just a lot of annoying puzzles in Tower of the Gods. You know, pick up statue, put statue on switch, statue comes alive, kill statue. Cool. Like, that's re very recurring in Stone Tower, and it's just like, oh, alright, I get it. Or not Stone Tower, uh, Tower of the Gods. And wrong button. Earth Temple and Wind Temple are instantly out of the fucking runnings because of this shit. Where you're going back and forth between characters. I will put Wind Temple up there for best boss in the series because Mulgara's theme is sick and it's just a very creative boss that's, you know, takes really good advantage of um, the design, I guess. Um, oh, I gotta push this over here. Yeah, most of Twilight Princess's dungeons were kind of disgusting. Um, the Twilight Realm, um, like that, like when you're in like the Twilight Realm castle, that's pretty sick. Um, I, I remember watching, like, uh, Game Rumors play it, and that was kind of like my first time seeing it, I think. And I was like, this is pretty sick. Just like the design and like the puzzles are kind of cool. Um... I like Temple in the Sky. I think Temple in the Sky is fucking sick. Um, just not like not as a dungeon, but like as a concept. I lo adore that shit. Like being in like the sky above everything, and like you could fall down to the world below. Granted, that it's terrifying, and I'm afraid of heights in real life. Um, but like design wise, I think that's sick. And there's a dungeon like that in Minish Cap, and that Minish Cap fucking kills that. Minish Cap, unironically sick game. Um, you could actually put like a lot of Minish Cap stuff up there near the top. If they're just, it's just Minish Cap is consistently fantastic. Quinrova is a great boss. I do. Uh, the first half of Twinrova is kind of fucking gross. Um, with having to reflect the light back at him, but it's it's cool because it you know you learned about that mechanic later earlier in the dungeon, which Ocarina of Time does that fantastically, where you learn a mechanic in the dungeon and then use that mechanic on the boss. Granted, that you know if you watch fucking Ego Raptors sequelitis, like that is also kind of the issue with the game, but like in terms of making a cohesive game, it's awesome. Okay. You're telling me, Kevin, I played through that game, like, almost every day for, like, a few months. Just doing randos. You don't need to tell me how good Ocarina of Time is. 
It's just a fantastic game to play. I was I literally told BBG last night. I was like, that game was a mood. I never... I got like an hour into DK64. Alright, I should have the Earth Temple thing up, shouldn't I? Um... I have no idea where the fuck I am in this dungeon. I haven't played Banjo, and I don't plan to. I mean, maybe I'll play Banjo one day, but I'm it's not high priority. Probably low priority. I need someone to be really pissed at me for not playing Banjo, and then force me to play Banjo. Good enough. Yes. I think that's good enough. Come on. There we go. That's bonus. Okay. Oh, I don't need to fucking be here. God damn it. Whatever. Mini boss time, bitch. Hi. Hi. Can I still get my drops, please? Fuckhead. Sweet. What is this? Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate this. That... Uh, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> that makes no sense! Logically speaking, that makes no sense. <laughs> God damn it. Now I'm gonna have that recommended coming up on my YouTube all the goddamn time. God damn it, Kevin. But thank you for that. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. That was a good one. Where's Medley? You whore. Don't. Oh, well, fuck this. <laughs> ah, all right. Eh. 
Yeah, that works. Idiot. Um, drinking my soup. Yeah, you're not corporeal yet. Pretty sure that was the drop. I also have to kill all of them. Oh, that's the drop. Cool. Alright. Let's go. Uh, Redead Crypt behind statues. I think so. Uh, three style plus mini boss. Three blocks. Pretty sure I got that. God, this tracker does suck balls. Did I get another key? I did not get another key. This tracker just assumes that I can't do like anything that I ha can do because I literally have like all the items. If I just marked I'll have all the keys, can it would say I can? Nope. Well, I don't know why it says I can't do the, the single chest there. I've already gotten. It's literally right over there that I've gotten it. Hello. I'm missing a key. Yeah, that really pissed me off too, Devin. I think you just need the right tracker, because, like, uh, for Ocarina Time, like, emo tracker's kind of good enough. It, d it does the trick. Um, like, you don't really need a map tracker in Ocarina. At least I don't. Maybe you do at the start. But there is also an, a map tracker that's, like, good enough. There's the boss key. Um. Like, Ocarina is not that big of a deal. And especially, um. Like, it's just a kind of familiar game that we already knew. Um. Wind Waker absolutely needs a tracker, and a good one. Because. The game's fucking massive. There are minimum like 200 checks in the game, which is like uh, out like a like egregious, like out fucking rageous that there's that many things to do in the game. Granted, that means there's a lot of content, which is good, but it's a lot of stuff to do. Like I watch, you know, Simple Flips and his friends play Wit and Waker all like occasionally whenever they do. And uh, one of his friends is like, I really want to learn this game without the tracker. And it's like, good fucking luck. There's so much to just mentally keep track of across, like, all the treasure charts, all the small checks here and there. Like, dungeons are basically worthless. Um, whereas, in, the, in this game at least, whereas in Ocarina, they're fucking gold mines. Like, it's just terrible. How, like, how 
you know, complex this game is compared to Ocarina, where Ocarina is just like, all right, I know generally how many chests there are in this area, plus the sculptulas, um, and there are, all the chests are pretty clumped together. There may be a lot of checks in Ocarina, but, um, the upside of her Ocarina is, um, uh oh the upside for Ocarina is that, um, the, lot, the chests are very, like, very clumped together. There will be, like, a room with, like, three chests, a room with two chests, or, you know, like, a small room with one. It's like, they, they come together in fucking groups. They don't fucking, um, they're not spread apart like the Wind Waker chests are. Which is why Wind Waker, at, just as a game in general, takes a lot longer to play through than what Ocarina does. Not in terms of base game, but in terms of... Fuck off. Bye. When Maker's just kind of a fucking chit show. Still a like, really fun game to play, but it's just kind of a shit show. I feel like it's really hard to be good at Wind Waker. You can be good at executing a lot of stuff in Wind Waker, but the, to be good, good at the game takes a lot of fucking work. Being good at Ocarina is fucking, like, dirt easy. Cause I, cause I did it. Granted, I played the game, like, like a couple hundred hours in like a few months, but... It's just a fun, easy game to play. And Link to the Past is supposedly easier, um, than Ocarina. It's shorter, um, so it's not, it like, just takes less time to master. As long as you master the trick, well, the tricks to take that you met the master are kind of bullshit and hard, but it's not too terrible. I already did this. Fuck me. Anyway. Um. I feel like you might need a tracker. Maybe you specifically don't, Devin. Um, but it wouldn't hurt to, like, replay through the whole game and, like, remember everything beforehand. I mean... I don't know. I also could just be talking on my ass. I don't know how much you know about the game. Um, but in, like, my head, it's like, that game is pretty complex. I would like to play through, or at least like, do, like, a test run. Um, before I did anything too serious. Shut up! I didn't talk to you! You're alive still? Okay, good. You're alive? What the fuck are you doing here? Yeah, there's just a lot of out-of-the-way stuff in Majora. Like the whole thing about Majora is that the game is mostly side quests. Which is sick that, like, they've crafted, like, a whole, like, mo like a bigger world. Majora has, like, the, like a, the biggest world in any Zelda game, easily. Like, the most fleshed-out world and characters. And I really appreciate that a whole fuck ton. My fucking boomerang at these motherfuckers.
Fuck off. Like, Majora's the game that, like, when I play through it, I want 100% it. Just because it's so enjoyable. Um, large crypt. My light arrows out for the future. What the fuck are you doing, huh, bud? I could go fight Jalhalla. First things first. <laughs> no! No, dude! That's toxic. That's so toxic. You would. A year and a half into the goddamn dungeon. Hey, honey. Welcome back to life. Fucking Nimrod. It's not a huge deal. I just gotta run through the whole dungeon again, which will take me like fucking 60 seconds. If that hit me, I would have screamed. Do I have the compass yet? Nope. So there's five checks left, one of them could be the compass. I could feel like the one information that I could gleam, if the, I don't get the compass before Jalhalla, to me Jalhalla is the compass, but there's still extra stuff I get for killing him. Which is unfucking forge. Oh, awesome. You fucking would. Asshole. Let's go. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get hit. I always get hit by those. Okay, let's do the smart thing. And like, run down the stairs. Get a view of what, where the fuck we're going. And we're going down there. i jump down here. Don't fall off, you idiot. Thank god. If you fell off and got sucked up again, I would... 
don't know what I would do. Probably scream, be upset, and then do it all again. Here we go. Okay, what do I want to do first? I'm gonna push that. Just put her up on like this pedestal here. Go where I need her next. There it is. Okay. Now? Uh, oh, I push this. I just don't remember the exact order I got everything in. Okay. Oh, I know what I need to do. Actually, I can just fucking do it with Link. Wait, no, I don't. Um, did I fuck up? Oh well. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, that solves that issue. All I need to do with Medley? Uh, no. God, I'm an idiot. That should be okay. Wait, I'm an idiot. That's fine. Now let's do this first.
fuck off. It's fine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God, that's the funniest shit. Alright. Oh, fuck you. That's fine. What the fuck are you going on about? Hey, get the fuck out of the way. It really, this is like really like the best fucking model or custom model there is. It's just so funny for no reason. I'll be on this side. I'm not be on the other side. Good. There we go. That's the big key room. Awesome. Time to leave and go this way. Oh, fuck it. I'll just go down here and do it. Oh, the guy shined the light on him. I'm an idiot. Hi. Got a note to mom. Now. Hi. They're immune. I don't know what I wanted to do, but I'll do it. Fucking idiot. Alright. Well, Chow Hall has something. Bye, Medley. Yeah, what's going on, Luna?
That sounds like the dream, Luna. I love doing that. Except, it, except going to bed at 4, I go to bed at like 2 or 3 and make up at... At the time, 11. It's the heart piece. There it is. All right. You know what that means. Need to mark off Earth Temple. Mark off Tower of the Gods. Dragon Roost. Oh, uh, we hit the last uh, few things from the mailbox. Supposedly. And we gotta go to Wind Temple. I should have gone to Wind Temple. I mean, eh. Oh, that's right. No box? Why aren't you shaking? You fuckhead. This is the worst goddamn tracker in the game. In the world. Uh, yeah, it's the life Luna, isn't it? Baito I did already because I... That's uh, in logic. I, I don't fucking... I don't know or care, but I'm marking off all the goddamn males. I honestly just don't care anymore. I don't think the sword is in the mail. I think it's either in Wind Temple or Wind Temple has the um, the map, the last few maps that um, have like the last few sea charts that have the um, sword upgrade somewhere. What do you mean streams to watch this week, Luna? Uh, Monster Hunter's tomorrow. Sonic is on Thursday. Like, that's all I know.
Is that Dragon Quest thing happening? I forgot about that. Maybe I did hear about it and I just didn't think. Car, please. Thank you. Cool. Uh, we pulled the wind temple list. That one small key between the trees. Please make it. I'll make it. Another big issue with Wind Temple, just by the way, is I'm pretty sure that for a dungeon that that's so dependent on the leaf, there are like almost no magic drops, which the leaf needs to function. And, like, they can definitely turn up the amount of magic drops they get, because they literally did it in, like, some other areas in the game. I don't remember where. Arrows. Can... Shit's outrageous. Interesting. Ah, uh, yes. The hook shot. That was lag. Um, sure. This is pointless, I think. I highly doubt Sonic Colors is getting an HD port. I would fucking like almost stake my life on th that it's not happening. They have yet to remake like a single Sonic game. Why would they start now? I mean, I do think that remaking uh, a Sonic game would be a fantastic idea for the franchise, but I don't think there's one in the works. I think they would, instead of just dwelling on old games, which I'm pretty sure they st they stated that we don't want to dwell on the past, we want to focus on the future. Which makes perfect sense. Can they think of new concepts to do with, like, like new ways to do old concepts? Like, you know, making multiple playable characters or something. Like, or like Adventure 3 or whatever. It's like, alright, yeah, that makes sense. I, I'm down with that shit. But I highly doubt that there's going to be like a remake. <laughs> Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle were not remakes. They were ports. People needed to get that through their heads. I've had this conversation 
maybe it was a BNB and G, or I was watching like a good vibes gaming discussion, but they are not remakes, they are ports of the Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 to the GameCube, and then sequ like sequentially to Steam, and then to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 stores. They are not remakes, they are ports. A remake implies that it was remade from the ground up to look better or function differently, not to be exactly the same. A port implies that it was just take they took the original one, they put it on a new system. A remaster is they put the old one on a new system, but with new visuals. Were the textures still in it? Lost in Adventure DX? I don't fucking know. I don't think having to retexture everything is that huge of a deal. Textures are like the last, like it, like concern. The biggest issue would be, like, if they lost all the fucking mat- like, the 3D models and had to remake the game from the ground up. In which case, it might as well have just been remake. Like, what- well, that was the case for Kingdom Hearts 1 when that got ported to the PS3. Um, that was basically remade because they suppo- well, supposedly, they lost, uh, all of the source files of Kingdom Hearts 1. Fuck. I'm an idiot. For fuck's sake. There we go. Uh, FF8 makes sense. I thought this didn't re remake FF8 because people didn't like it. But what do I fucking know about FF8? I don't I haven't even played it. Yeah, big doubt for Sonic remakes. Yeah, companies do really need to focus on, like, making backups of everything and, you know, cataloging their their history of games. It's an issue with companies nowadays, which is why Nintendo is very impressive. But I do things. They still have source code for the original Mario Brothers and, Mar and New Super Mario Brothers. Or, or not New Super, uh, regular Super Mario Brothers. And fucking Capcom with Pac-Man. Or I guess that was Namco. Um, that made Pac-Man, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I, I, why did I say Capcom? I meant, I meant Bandai. Not Capcom. Um, making, and of course, well, Tetris 99 wasn't that big of a deal. Mario 35, huge deal. Pac-Man, huge deal. Like, ha like that's fucking insane. Very impressed with those co two companies. Um, okay. I can just hop down.
<laughs> Car cell. Last bottle. Okay. I guess I'll go this direction. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Back here. This is a Makar room. That's probably a good thing. Should we be back out in the main room? Hell yeah. Alright, where's Makar? Let's go, buddy! the Gar Stalthos guarded room or Armos. Fuck out of, off of me, you shithead. Okay. Thank you. Oh, fuck off. God damn it. Whoa. Oh my god, they, may, they can totally make a grandpa model for this game. Devin, if you're still there. What if the, if there was a grandpa model, you know that's all I'm playing in this game. I would 100% commission someone to make a grandpa model. I have actually thought about making, like, learning how to make models in this game. I think it's cool and it's interesting and it's fun. And, like, that would be, like, the thing to get me back into the 3D modeling if I were to do. If, like, you know, that's why I just kind of what I would do for fun. If it was an enjoyable thing. It's also a lot to learn how to do. It's really complicated. I mean, it's not too complicated to, like, do the basics. It's hard to make, like, to, like, say, alright, I'm gonna take the- I'm gonna make something. And then make something. It's a lot of- there's a lot of time investment that I feel like you have to do. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Hi. Um. Three dark nuts. on the alpha chest. I mean, if you're if we're talking about Blender, I just did, sorry, I like took a small little mental break. Um, I literally took a class on how to Blender, like the basics of Blender, and it was like very, like, okay, interesting, I get it, kind of. Um, but it's also like a one like 101 class, so it's like fucking easy as shit. Just wasted a potion. Got it. You fuckhead. This is like the room where like you definitely need magic the most and it's still like kinda eh. You got like a whole patch of grass and only get one goddamn thing of magic. Fuck off. You can't enter the vortex with Makar? Fuck that. Oh, 
Huh. <sighs> you dumbass. Why are you my fucking, like, tether? That's awesome, Devin. Congratulations. Condemn it. Hubble hub. I think last bottom of the hub. <sighs> okay. Assholes. No, fuck you. Ah! Where's the chest? Oh. That's the last one. Okay.
Don't fuck with me, you shithead. No, oh, that wasn't it. This leads to the boss. I need my car for that, I think. I'd suck. Mega balls. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Cool. This is a mini boss room. Look at that mini boss room. Oh no. Oh jeez. It's a high whiz robe. It's almost like I'm gonna one shot him. That was sick. M's the big key. Okay, that's one chest I missed. Okay. Wait a minute. Ooh, those might be in the same room. Boggers? Bog? Hang on, let me check. It's in the hub room, right? Yeah, it's the hub room. It should be fine. There we go. Seven armos. Oh. I love the sound they make. It's like, oh. Here's fucking hoping Tingle's got it out for us. Alright, where's my car? What are you doing down here, asshole? Let's go. You guys respawn, fuck off. Alright, son, I'll handle these guys.
Come, my son. God damn. Fuck it. All right. Oh, that's right. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I forgot about that one. For fuck's sake. Oh, 
Ah, I fucking knew it. Don't fall off, you dumbass. There it is. Of course, it would be hidden deep in Moon Temple. But we finally got it! We got the last upgrade to the Master Sword. It's good to know that if I had kept playing last night, I would have been awake till 1.30 in the morning doing this. Hell, I wasn't even that, up that late. I went to bed at like fucking 1.00. I was fucking exhausted. I like caught up in some YouTube after I ended at like 10.30. Or like maybe it was like 11.30, I don't remember. And I just fucking called it a night. But yeah. No bow the entire seed, no grappling hook the entire seed, no command melody until the, for the entire seed. Command, everything else was locked behind command melody. Um. Last sword upgrade, also locked behind Command Melody, but it was fucking way later. Um, the last Master Sword upgrade was fucking hidden deep into the worst temple in the game. Most time consuming one. No bottles the entire time either. Like, just a fucking... Not a terrible seed, but... A seed that really fucking cucks to you. Mm. 
The only reason why the seat was bad was because the tracker cucked me. If the tracker did not... If I, know, if I had known that I could do the fucking town flower quest, I would have done it. I would have gotten it over with. I would have gotten the command melody. I would have immediately gone to Earth Temple. And I would have fucking gotten the grappling hook right away. Like, the seed would have absolutely, ta like, been beatable in one sitting. In, like, 10, 11 hours. It's just the tracker fucking me. Because it's outdated. But from now on, I'm using a fucking up-to-date tracker that's objectively better. We have boss rematches off, so I don't have to do any of these. The game still says that I can't be. You know, the tracker says I still can't be Ganondorf for whatever reason. The game does the fucking this, this tracker is just terrible. Hell, I'm not even gonna fucking keep it open anymore. I'm just closing it. There's no reason to have it open anymore. Oh, I gotta kill you guys. Mm -hmm. I have to go get downstairs and kill everything. Stationary target. Is that it? Yep. Almost like they know you're gonna be eating this shit. Perfect. All right. Hi. I forgot any boomerang for this.
god, oh my god, I can't see a goddamn thing. Move the right way. Jesus. Oh, I thought it was snake phase before spider phase. Ah. Easy as shit. <sighs> I got him. Wow. That was an accident. Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. Dumbass. <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> Look at him bounce. Oh, he's so dumb. That's the end, right? That's it. Now I need a uh, grappling hook. Hook shot. Oh. I don't know how to do that properly. Oh god, all right. Where's the... Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's blood. <laughs> Hang on a minute, buddy. I gotta take a drink. There we go. Where, oh, you're right. Why the fuck are you right next to me? All right, stop shooting me when I'm not ready, you whore. Got him. It sucks that I have no, literally no idea where Zelda is. I'm literally right here. Where are you? Shut up. You aren't helping. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess I'm done. Oh god! We beat Wind Waker. God, that sucked. I love the fucking mailbox. It's like, There's no one to host right now. Well, I'm ending. Thank you guys for coming out and hanging out for the last, for the last three hours of the fucking Wind Waker Rando that I started yesterday. Um, we'll probably be playing Mario Maker later. Maybe. Um... Anime and I agreed to play. I don't know if anyone else is joining. It'll be a good time. Um, I'll see you in like four and a half hours. I don't know when I'm going to do another one of these. <sighs> whenever I feel like it, really. Whenever I have a day, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'll play Wind Waker. We'll see. I'm gonna go relax for four hours until I have to scream and shout. Until then, have a good rest or have a good day. <laughs> have a good rest of your day if I don't see you. I do see you. See you then. Thank you for coming by.